But I suppose on A-level day, you're one of the few people who thinks, well, if they don't get their grades, they're going to come and sign up for us and take an apprenticeship. Is that being unfair? Uh, <laughs> well, I think the thing is, because we, we work with young people in, um, in exams and in apprenticeships, we can see almost like a global picture of opportunities. So there's so many opportunities through the academic route, which is fantastic if they want to uh, carry on with, um, with the uh, theoretical side, mm. you know, and, and actually go on to do, well, from GCSE to do A-level or from A-level to do a degree. That's brilliant, and we can uh, assist very much in that. But also on the apprenticeship mm. side, it's just really good to see that, that breadth of opportunity, which I don't think was really there for young people before, but it is now, so, so from that point of view, it is really good for us to, to see that. Because despite the, the proliferation of university places and people taking them up in recent years, it's not for everybody, is it? No, it isn't, and I think there's lots of reasons for that, because I think a lot of young people, based on their learning style, they like to be very much hands-on rather than, than learning in a classroom situation, and they like to apply what they're learning, and for the more kinesthetic learners, I think that's really, really important. But also there's the financial side of it, which is so important, and I think £9,000 per year for the tuition fees, mm -hmm. and and then you come out with that debt. Um, obviously, that's something that, that can be quite off-putting for, for young people. And based on their social situation, I think it can be quite unfair for young people as well. So it's really good to see that young people from any background can have good opportunities because they can, um, the, the apprenticeship scheme, you're actually earning while you're learning and you don't have the debt at the end, which is brilliant. And I suppose as well, you will have seen over the last few years where apprenticeships have become more and more popular. Uh, and I know it has big government backing, you'll have seen some great success stories. Yes, we have, and it is so lovely to see because uh, when you see young people, um, you know, we, we see them, like, like I said, we see them at school, GCSE, and then we might not see them again for a bit, and then we might see them again when they're, they're older, mm -hmm. coming back for apprenticeships or whatever. And it's so lovely to see young people who have got fantastic skills, but in uh, previous times, they might not have had the opportunity to really do well because it was either higher education, college or university, or, mm -hmm. um, well, there wasn't too much choice, really. So we've had some really fantastic stories and we've got some really good people with us at the minute who, who have d just done so well on apprenticeships. Do you think that there is a, for want of a better way of putting it, that, that schools do tend to try and pressure and colleges do try and pressure them? Um, well, I think... Uh I think it's, it's difficult because they obviously... You mean yes, don't you? <laughs> you mean yes. They obviously want the best for them. So yeah. I think it's really... Um, schools are presenting one situation, and I think it's really um, great to have that for the academic ones. It's fantastic. But I think sometimes when you're in that situation as a young person, it's quite um, easy to be blinkered, and you think everything... Everything is about academic, academic success, mm. and it isn't. You know, there are so many other options, and I think it's just opening their eyes. And some schools are really good at this, at getting them to see that there are so many different opportunities mm. and options. Um, but I think sometimes it's the young person puts a lot of pressure on themselves because there is a lot of pressure to to succeed in the school environment. But there are so many ways to succeed. That's that's what we'd like them to. Because know. I mean, the principle of apprenticeships is nothing new, is it? It's no, true. Yeah. Been around for a long time. Yeah. And I think it's a fantastic thing, the, the idea of having somebody passionate in their job who is a role model to a young person who can teach them everything is just so fantastic. You know, like for there's a, an apprenticeship at the minute for dental nurses and it's three years. So you can be earning while you're actually mm. learning from somebody who has been doing it for years, which, which has got to be a really good way of doing it. I think they, they not only pass on the skills, but they pass on the passion. And I think the big thing for us, well, the big thing for me that I, I notice seeing apprentices in their work is that they learn how to deal with the, you know, the whole thing about the, the multiple and conflicting priorities which everybody has at work, which you can't learn while you're at university. You can only learn it when you're actually faced with deadlines or somebody's off ill and you've got to cover for them and yourself and everything. And I think that's the thing they learn on the job. And I think that's just so valuable. That's worth its weight in gold. I think the thing as well is, you know, to be fair, the, the fact that people are getting paid once they've left yeah. school. That, that's, you know, even if it's not a huge amount of money, mm. it's still some money in their hand, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's great. And I think it gives yeah. them the sense of... I think the pride that comes from working and the, the sense that you're mm. useful and you're giving something to your community, that's a crucial part of anything that we do. Any young people we work with, we, we try and get this sense across to them. 
Um, so I think that's really important. But also it gives them an understanding of budgeting, of money, of how the real world mm. works. And I think that's great because rather than starting off with loans, it, it's just a really good practical way to, to start your adult life, isn't it? Because it's, such a, it's still a criticism of, of the school system at secondary level these days, isn't it? Yeah. That, that it's all academic. They're not actually prepared for life yeah. as such. Mm. I think one of the things that I would love to see more is, and I know schools are working on this, and it's, it's very mm. difficult in a pressurised, uh, they've got so many time constraints on them and so much um, pressure to achieve good results. But being life ready is so much more important than being work ready because work mm. ready can only really happen if they're life ready, can't it, I think. So, so do potential apprentices, do they come directly to you as a business or do they come through companies who you work with and say, hey, hey here we are, Flo, we've got another 25 for you? Uh, we tend to get uh, to advertise for them directly and to go out into the community directly mm. and to meet young people in the places where they are and they come to us. So that there's a... Um, there's a whole sort of cycle of how people come to us. A lot is through word of mouth. Mm. So people have, have maybe um, done an apprenticeship uh, with us or they know somebody who has or somebody in their family has worked mm. with us. And so a lot of people come through word of mouth. So uh, it's a bit of everything, really. But, you know, it's, it's great to have them from all different avenues. Yeah. So do the statistics back up all you're saying to in praise of apprenticeships then? I think so, yeah. I think the, the recent ones that I've seen, um, there was an article yesterday in The Guardian... Mm. And that said that um, only 9% of, uh, of people who'd gone to university would go back and do it again if they had their time again wow. because of the debt. And mm. I think it's a statistic of 49% um, use their degree in their actual job when, when they've left, mm. which is quite interesting. I mean, I know there's more to a degree than just the subject. Sure. You know, you get the, the skills and, and everything as well. But mm. that's quite interesting, I think, in terms of practical, the practical level. Um, but also 37% of young people are worried by the debt that they accumulated at university. Mm. And I can understand that. I think that's, uh, that's really interesting. But also from the, the career side, a lot of um, employers are actually favouring apprentices. Um, and I know I do because, you know, people who can... One of the things we look for is uh, resilience and people who can actually get on in the world of work and take the knockbacks and get themselves back up again when something doesn't quite go according to plan. Mm. But in the real life situation, uh, these people are very highly sought after because you know, they, they, they're less impact on um, company time because mm. they've got a lot of skills already. So that's, that's really good. So reading between the lines of what you say, uh, I mean, would you actually be in favour of scrapping university fees? University fees, mm. uh, definitely, yes, yeah. I would, because I think it stops there being a level playing field for young people of all different mm. backgrounds. So I think that's, um, mm. that's really not good. But on the other hand, I think that um, I would like to see a lot more opportunity for... I'd like the young people to see the options available to them and that uh, university is only one, one way. We're trying to explain it to them like... You can get a train or you can get a, a bus or a taxi. You know, it's not, there's not one route to get somewhere. And mm -hmm. it has been in the past this sense that if you want a good career, you've got to go to university. But the modern apprenticeships, it really is a, it's a fantastic new, new way of doing things, I think. And are they as successful as you're, you're making me believe? I mean, there must be the odd dropout along the way here and there. Well, there are. Well, we've got this um, system. Um, we've got a traineeship as well that we run. So young people mm. who who try an apprenticeship and they find they're not quite ready, they've not quite got the, the skills, the resilience, the, the, the stay in power pot potentially, mm. um, we can work with them on a, a traineeship, which is like a, a get ready for apprenticeship course. Okay. So they're very popular as well. And, you know, it's all about being punctual and we do the, the budgeting and real life skills. But um, I think there's, it's always about a pathway, isn't it? And they may not quite mm. be at the point to, to benefit from an apprenticeship, but we can certainly get them there. So it's, it, there's, always a, there's always a way through mm. it. And are you finding that, that more and more, and I read some statistics yesterday and I can't remember where from now, uh, of companies saying that they are favouring people who haven't necessarily been to university because they think they, are, they come more rounded and, Definitely. and better. Definitely, yeah. We're hearing that a, a lot um, from, from colleagues that um, I, I talk to uh, all, all different places mm. in terms of networking and um, things like that in Coventry. That there's a real feel for um, the benefit of real experience and the, um, how much value people put on being able to, to know that somebody has got real life um, experience. I mm. think that, yeah, definitely, 100%.
So in the, in the last uh, few seconds, I guess your phones are going to be busy over the next couple of days, are they? Well, now hopefully, the are hopefully, out. yeah. And I think it's one of the things that um, I would say is that it's not just students who haven't done so well. You know, the mm. modern apprenticeship mm. really is for bright students and, and students who struggle academically and all sorts of students. It's, mm. You can get in at any sort of level, level two to level six. So it's, it's there for anybody if they want that option of real life uh, experience. Excellent.